called me because, uh, you know, uh, you know, we we keep on hearing like people like uh, uh, Ryan come on television talking about the hypocrisy of the, uh, you know, the audacity of the, the Democratic Party attaching something to the, the hurricane relief when they did the exact same same thing to Sandy. I just want to say that you know, I just you know, the Democrats got to start really start hammering and stop being timid and worrying about well, you know, everybody, you know, we want to be doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing. Attack. Because in the words of an immortal person, there is no such thing as try, just do. Yeah, Tony, I'll tell you, I, I'm seeing a shift. I, you know, I've seen – I saw the press conference we did today. People aren't trying to be soft around the edges on it. Um, our problem is sometimes getting the corporate media to you know, put out what we're actually saying uh, in the 22 minutes that they sell in, uh, detergent and cover a little bit of news uh, in the meantime. Uh, so, you know, we've been very clear on a lot of these issues. People are pushing back hard in the Democratic Party. Uh, we see these as true attacks on core American values. So it's happening here. I just hope it gets translated. Congressman, I just uh, got a story from The Hill that I guess has to do with the original, that caller that we had way back when who was saying it's Heidi Heitkamp up to something. Yeah. Uh, John Hoven and Heidi Heidkamp are both expected to travel to North Dakota with Trump on Air Force One, and have both welcomed the president's visit to their state. So that's what that person was talking about. I don't, uh, I don't know what this means, and yeah. so, uh, you know. Uh, anyhow, we'll pick up some more calls here. Uh, Kelly in Berkeley, California. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. Hi. Um, a number of us have experienced canvassers have been going out in Republican districts and canvassing door to door on issues. And the people are hungry to be signed up on issues. It's just totally amazing. And so I wanted to pass that along. And then also ask, would people of California be welcome or wanted to help the election in Wisconsin? Um, well, yeah, to your first point, I mean, I, I, you guys are doing a great job. I talked to Barbara Lee and Mark Desalny and others uh, quite a bit, especially in the Northern California area. And uh, congratulations. I mean, that outreach is going to be key because there's about at least a half a dozen congressional districts in California that are at play. And, you know, I think uh, everyone across the country um, can help uh, Randy in various ways and various ways of support. I, I just think that, you know, watch the race because it's a race that – uh, there's some polling data that I believe is coming out this week that's going to be very, very interesting. And that's my home uh, district. I grew up in that district. My mom still lives there. My in-laws live on the other edge of the district. Um, Randy Bryce is a much better fit as far as who he is, an iron worker for that district, than someone who's an out-of-touch uh, Washington elite who you know drinks $350 bottles of wine. So anything people can do to recognize and watch that race would be helpful. Linda in Deerfield Beach, Florida. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. Hi, uh, thank you for taking my phone call. Um, number one, uh, I feel sorry for Texas. Uh, you know what they're going through that we are shortly about to go through. We don't know where it's going to go and the exact strength we're going to hit. But I heard something very scary, and I just wanted to know as a Floridian, they said FEMA aid is completely gone. It's drained. One billion dollars they've used in one week, and there will be no aid for Florida. And I'm curious if that's really true. So uh, we that's what own. we're taking care of. If the bill that we just voted on, uh, which I think three people in the end voted against, um, has to go to the Senate, and long as it's not amended, uh, by Friday we would run out of FEMA money. So that should extend uh, the life of FEMA. Now, if Irma comes through and we're watching close and thinking about you, Linda, you know, we're going to have to probably revisit that yet again. Um, but, you know, hopefully uh, it doesn't happen. Uh, but uh, with the bill passing by Friday, we should make sure that FEMA is fully um, uh, able to handle any emergencies that come as of Friday. Jason in Vancouver, Washington. You're on the air with Congressman Pocan. Hey, Tom. I uh, just want to say it's an honor to talk to you. I listen to you every day. You're awesome. Um, and, Congressman, I just wanted to say uh, what is the priority or chance of getting open primaries throughout the country because uh, I noticed that it was uh, some issues in the last election because with uh, Florida or New York being closed. And yeah, that was my question. <laughs> yeah, Jason. So uh, good question. Uh, the, the problem is it's not as simple as just saying like open primaries or not because it's up to the states. Uh, we truly have open primaries in Wisconsin. It goes back to the days of fighting Bob LaFollet. Um, some states have caucuses, which are very, very closed. Some states have closed primaries. Some have they close the ability to register very early. So there's a, a lot of different laws out there, and this has largely been given to the states. So 
I don't expect that to change uh, immediately in the near future, although I would hope that as we talk about things like superdelegates, we also talk about these different structures because I do think there are significant differences between a caucus and an open primary and a closed primary, and I think that is almost as relevant an issue as the superdelegate issue is. Uh, we just we have two minutes. Steve, you got a real quick question. Steve in Brunswick, Georgia, you got a real quick question for Congressman Pocan? Yeah, hi, Tom. Hi, Congressman Pocan. Uh, I was just wondering if they cut taxes on the uh, uh, corporate taxes and they cut taxes on the rich people, well, then who's going to pay the taxes? Steve, you, that's a $100,000 question, right? I mean, actually, it's a real simple question. That I means, you know, we're going to see a little bit, a nickel or two thrown at us, but then when you pay all the extra fees for things that they had to cut in order to fund that, um, you're going to wind up paying more, but it's a, a stealth tax increase on uh, middle class and those aspiring to be in the middle class so that we can uh, take care of their uh, campaign donors, quite bluntly. So uh, that's why we've got to fight anything they want to do. And don't forget, the corporate tax rate is not the real rate that people pay. Uh, the effective tax rate is what people really pay. That's between 16 and 18 percent. So, you know, a lot of the rhetoric that they're going to put out there in the next few months, be prepared to counter the rhetoric because uh, I can hear it already, what they're doing in Washington. It's, it's not very truthful. Congressman, in the final minute here uh, of the hour, uh, what should we be watching for and, and is there anything that we, you know, we should be calling our members of Congress and saying, please do or don't do this particular thing? You know, I would say start with DACA. You know, I think it's real important that everyone reach out to their member of Congress and their senators about DACA uh, and then repeat that message on social media, because this is really important that we get this done. We need to put pressure to get it done in September. Um, also, you know, we're going to have the whatever comes through the budget this week. The appropriations process isn't real. We're probably going to have some kind of continuing resolution because Republicans still can't govern, even though they're in charge of everything. Just try to keep the priorities uh, that are out there on spending so that we're not cutting you know, programs like Meals on Wheels like the president originally proposed. But DACA and the budget are probably the two most pressing, and just keep very aware of tax uh, issues.